Fantastic human, hello. Today we're looking at Notwise, a handwriting note-taking app that started out on Android before making its way to the iPad. It's a little unusual because most handwriting apps we have tried started on the iPad, then expanded into Android. But Notwise flipped the script. We haven't tried the Android version though, so this review purely focuses on its iPad version. If you've tried it on Android, let us know in the comments how it compares. Like most handwriting apps in 2025, Notwise gives you two options, a one-time purchase or a subscription. For $17, you get it on a single platform, either iPad or Android. But that's only if you don't mind your notes staying on one device forever. It is the completely offline version of Notwise. No sync, no collaboration. And that has its perks. Another limitation with the one-time purchase, you can't even import different types of documents, PowerPoint, Word documents, Markdown. It is strange because most handwriting apps let you import Office files freely now. If you need AI features for your handwritten notes, you'll be paying somewhere between $9 to $10 a month. Or $20 to $90 if you go with the annual plan. It's getting expensive to handwrite notes these days, but at least Notwise gives you a monthly option, which we rarely see. You can also try the app for free with up to 10 notebooks, enough to decide if it's worth that lifetime commitment. With a subscription, you can use Notwise on iPad, iPhone, Android, or even through a web browser. The web version is mainly for viewing your notes, not editing them. But your notes do sync perfectly across platforms, so you can start on your iPad and finish on your Galaxy Tab. A big plus if you're juggling both ecosystems. Reading mode in Notewise is as close as you get to a full screen mode, which helps you focus without distractions. But we'll still have to see a true full screen option in the future where we can still take notes without the toolbars. You can rearrange tools on your toolbar, but you can't remove any. It's limited to the top or bottom of the screen and doesn't support them colors. Still, the app looks clean modern, visually polished, exactly what you want in 2025. This part gets a bit clunky at first, but once you get past the setup, Notwise offers some of the best notebook creation options we have seen. Your page size options are a bit limited, but you can create custom pages though the app doesn't tell you which units it's using. We compared the biggest page size with the standard A4, and it's huge. Page colors and templates are limited, but you get full control over line spacing and width. Sadly, there are no covers, and page orientation isn't as intuitive as it should be. But it's there. You can save full PDFs as templates, But there is a catch. If your PDF has pages with different sizes, Notwise won't import it. That means if you use digital notebooks or planners with mixed page sizes and sometimes orientation, they simply won't work. Hopefully that changes soon because we can't use some of our digital notebooks in the app. There's a small marketplace for digital stationery. Nothing fancy. Some planners, notebooks. A few items are free for subscribers, but honestly, all of them should be. It could be a compelling reason to consider subscribing to the app. It would help if they were categorized somehow, because right now, everything in the marketplace is just listed together. You have to scroll through dated and undated planners, different kinds of notebooks. It's all mixed up, making it hard to find what you like. Even simple sections would make browsing a lot smoother and more enjoyable. 
you get three pen types, fountain, ballpoint, and brush. I particularly like the brush pen because its pressure sensitivity feels incredibly responsive and easy to control. It reacts beautifully to how much pressure you apply, allowing for smooth transitions between thick and thin strokes. Whether you're writing quickly or sketching slowly, it maintains a consistent flow that makes handwriting feel natural and expressive. It's one of those tools that instantly reminds you why writing by hand can still feel so satisfying on a screen. Each pen type supports four stroke types, solid, dotted, dashed, and a combination of dotted and dashed. It's exciting to have them for the fountain and brush pen because they're usually limited to the ballpoint. It is much easier to use them in Northwise because they work with all your pens. These might seem decorative at first, but they can actually be quite practical. The only one I can come up with is motion parts. Let me know if you have more. The highlighter works perfectly. It sits behind your ink and never dims your writing. However, there is no favorite toolbar which is a bit of a pain considering we can only keep five colors and three thicknesses on the toolbar at a time. That means you'll constantly find yourself switching settings if you like using multiple pen styles or colors in your notes. The eraser is outstanding. It supports scribble to erase or to deselect and can target nine specific items, including shapes, photos, and tables. We love when apps display zoom percentages and let you lock them in. Not wise does that. But its zoom window is too basic. No auto advance, no margin. So using it might feel like too much work if you rely on it. Here's where not wise gets exciting. It offers more shapes than any other handwriting app we've tested so far even 3D shapes, exponential graphs, and complex curves. You can even fill them automatically and adjust opacity. I'm not sure why my arrows are suddenly dim and showing up in a different color. The shapes tool has been very buggy. It's hardly ever working the way it's supposed to. The pop-up menu for your drone shapes is a hit and miss. Most of the time, it doesn't even appear and when it does, it barely functions. So, as impressive as the range of shapes and options might be on paper, the actual experience is frustrating. It feels unfinished and we hope the developers can address these issues soon because the potential here is genuinely exciting. Irregular shapes also are a bit of a pain to draw, especially if you prefer a more straightforward draw and transform approach. In Notwise, you have to manually create each stroke that forms your irregular shape, which adds unnecessary steps to what should be a quick process. Most handwriting apps let you draw a single rough outline and then refine it instantly. But here, you essentially build your shape piece by piece. A straight ruler, triangle, and a protractor. The triangle even has two orientations. Very few apps offer that many ruler options. Text boxes come with basic formatting, font size, and color options. Good enough for occasional typing. Photos are excellent. You can import images from your photos library or camera. See what I mean? I am simply trying to crop this image, but I am getting no options for it. I had to tap this more than 10 times. We're running the latest version of the app in iPadOS 26. What could possibly go wrong? We had to close the app and open it again to get it to work. Once you get a response, you can crop your photos in several ways. Even cut out people automatically, which is a really cool feature. And you can add frames with adjustable corner radius. 
The only thing missing is support for GIFs and image opacity. Most handwriting apps struggle with that, so this is not just unique to Notewise. The tape comes in four designs and lets you choose any color you want. I especially love the edges, they feel very tape-like, and the highlighter left behind when you reveal an answer. You can hide or show all the tape on the page at once, and that completes the feature. Here's where it gets very limiting. The lasso tool only works if the items tool is active on the toolbar. So, to select a shape, you need to select the shapes tool first. It adds up over time, and not in a good way. If it only affected photos or a few items, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but it applies to everything on the page. The only saving grace is that the lasso tool can pick up all these elements which gives you a decent workaround, as long as your items aren't overlapping. Still, a selective lasso tool would make a much bigger difference than a selective eraser ever could. Or is it just me? If you're anything like me, you'll also forget to select the right tool before trying to pick something up. After an hour of that, you're just frustrated. You are genuinely angry and in need of a break to cool down. Search works beautifully. It recognizes handwritten notes and shows previews that make it easy to find what you're after. Even if the handwriting recognition is sometimes off, the app nails the search terms perfectly almost every single time, which is quite surprising. Most handwriting apps now come with AI and Notwise is no different. You'll find the usual summaries and explanations but the standout is the AI podcast feature. The app can generate a guided podcast from your notes. It's definitely my favorite feature in Notwise because I like seeing new cool features. Welcome to Notewise AI's podcast, where we turn your notes into engaging lessons. Today, we're diving into the essentials of cardiac examination, focusing on key steps and observations. Our notes begin on page one. Outlining the core components of a cardiac examination, inspection, palpation. Say what? If there's one truly compelling reason to use Notwise, this is it. The podcast feature is brilliant. It summarizes your notes accurately and presents them in such a creative, engaging format. Own mini audio show generated straight from your handwritten notes. I would love to see the developers expand on this idea, perhaps by adding more voice styles, pacing options, or ways to personalize the presentation. Too much to ask for? Maybe. But if you don't try, you'll never know. The quiz generation feature is decent, but not very accurate, and that's what really surprises me almost every single time. AI is still prone to mistakes, so it's puzzling why so many productivity apps are rushing to include it before it's truly reliable. Meh, a story for another day. That said, I do like the simplicity of the quizzes themselves and the feedback you get at the end. Page editing covers all your basics. You can rotate, duplicate, or add new pages to your notebook. The most exciting feature is the ability to move pages across notebooks. Just gives you that much flexibility. Love it. We also love hyperlinks, especially when they connect to other notebooks. And Notwise makes them incredibly easy to use. You can also link to individual pages within the same notebook, which is perfect for cross-referencing ideas or building interconnected study notes. It's easily one of the most intuitive features in the app. Linking concepts across different sections of your notes is such an important part of effective note-taking, and Notwise really gets that. 
We also love the universal text that support any color you want. The only downside is that a notebook can only have a single tag at a time. Let's hope the developers can remove that limitation in the future. You can lock notebooks and you can use Face or Touch ID to unlock them. However, there is no backup system, not even a manual one, and that's risky. This is where Notwise shines. You can invite collaborators via email, assign permissions, see their positions in the notebook as you scroll, and all of this is in real time with super cute trackers. So you know where everyone is and what they're doing. That's in addition to being smooth, intuitive, and reliable. We'll still have to see common support added though. Adding some form of communication would complete this amazing collaboration feature. For pure handwriting, creating notebooks, working with others, and focusing on active recall, it's excellent. Notwise nails the basics. If you're an Android user who also wants to write on the iPad, Notwise is easily your best option. It's Android first, and that's exactly what makes it stand out. However, it can be frustrating because some features are buried behind confusing steps, menu labels, and the app can feel sluggish. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it just shows the app still needs a bit of polishing. We genuinely see potential here and our team hopes to continue working with the developers to follow Notwise progress. With a few refinements, it could easily become one of the most capable handwriting apps across platforms. And until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.